Use your common sense. Believe your eyes. What you saw, you saw. Proof beyond a reasonable doubt, it, it certainly is a high standard. It's the highest standard. It's a standard that the state has, has met here. And the state does not need to prove its case beyond all doubt. It does not need to prove its case beyond what I'll call an unreasonable doubt. Not required to prove beyond an unreasonable doubt. An unreasonable doubt is a doubt not based on common sense, but based on nonsense. And you're not required to accept nonsense. You're not required to accept the notion that after the defendant kneeling on Mr. Floyd for 9 minutes and 29 seconds in the dangerous prone position, handcuffed, restrained, pressing down on him, that after that, as he, as he was writhing in pain and suffering, that, that that's not even a use of force. But there's no force there because it's not likely to produce pain. A witness testified. You're, you're not required to believe something that just flies in the face of common sense, to believe that you would have to completely abandon all notion of common sense, not likely to produce pain. You don't have to accept someone who says that. You'd be, you'd be better off asking the nine-year-old. You're not required to accept the proposition that the car did it, that the car killed George Floyd. You're not required to accept that or to consider that it is the bystander's fault for distracting the defendant. You're not required to believe this amazing coincidence that after this 9 minute and 29 second prone restraint, that at that point in time, even though he was walking and talking, even though he was breathing, interacting with people, that he chose that moment to die of heart disease? To die of heart disease? Is that common sense or is that nonsense? Or that it was a, a drug overdose? You know that George Floyd struggled with drug addiction and drug use. You know that. You know he had developed a, a that requires a tolerance. You know what the toxicology report says in terms of the levels, and you know what the testimony was about that. The guy of a drug overdose. It's not common sense. That's nonsense. Believe your eyes. What you saw happen, happened. What the defendant did was not policing. What the defendant did was an assault. I'm going to discuss the law with you in a bit here. Courts already provided you some instructions on secondary murder, and you know that in the laws of this state, if you commit a certain level of assault, a felony level assault, and a person dies as a result of your assault, you're guilty of murder. It's as simple as that. And what the defendant did here was a straight up felony assault. This was not policing, it was unnecessary, it was gratuitous. It was disproportionate, and he did it on purpose. No question. This was not an accident. He did not trip and fall and find himself upon George Floyd's knee and neck. He did what he did on purpose, and it killed George Floyd. That force for 9 minutes and 29 seconds, that killed George Floyd. And he betrayed the badge and everything it stood for.